comes during the course of the sermon, and if there are any that you're familiar with, or a refrain that you're starting to pick up on, you're welcome to sing with me. So I'm going to sing this one again. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire and never dies away, never dies away. Within our darkest night, you kindle a fire that never dies touchstone revelation at different points in my life, so it isn't surprising that it is cycling back through again now. Over the past two years, Jeff and I have stared death in the face, and we have waited for him to retreat. We have lost all the worldly goods we had in our home when they were taken by fire on Christmas Eve. We have been jettisoned into an extended period of living in a transitory state with regard to housing and being mildly homeless. And yet we have been incredibly blessed. God is so good all the time it brings us to tears. Following Jeff's cancer diagnosis, God surrounded us with saints and angels who brought us meals and who prayed with us. We started a Caring Bridge site to try to manage keeping people up to date. Following the fire, two parishes hosted benefit concerts for us, and a friend set up a GoFundMe site for us. So we have been able to go through these experiences without the added weight of financial insecurity. And God used all of this to continually bring our focus back to trusting that God's presence and provision would be more than enough to meet our needs. Jeff and I have had different experiences with regard to the cancer, his as an unwilling victim, and mine as a caregiver for the beloved husband whose life is threatened by this disease. Yet our different experiences are woven together, and we've had to pay attention to the ways God needs to work healing in each of us in different ways. For Jeff, physical healing was the primary concern for a long time, and God gave him strength and courage to literally go through the shadow of the valley of death, the chemo prep, for a stem cell transplant kills the bone marrow. And the transplant puts stem cells back into the bloodstream so they can migrate back into the marrow and hopefully reboot the system. The three to four weeks following the transplant are grueling. And time then seems to expand until that present moment is all there is. It was a traumatic experience. Yeah. 
swelling the songs that we are singing, rising to the heavens, rising to your heart, your heart. Our praises filling up the spaces in between our frailty and everything you are.
We have immense gratitude for God's deep and abiding presence with us through these traumas and in our lives before and after them. We recognize that we have experienced more joy in our lives than we can truly comprehend. We laugh often, smile a lot, and nurture loving attitudes towards others. We have been changed by our experiences over the last two years. God, if we let her, uses everything in our lives to transform us more into who we were created to be. Come out of sadness from wherever you Come broken hearted, let the rescue begin. Come find your mercy, oh sinner, come near. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your down your shame all who are broken lift up your face oh wanderer come home you're not too far so lay down your Lay down your heart, come as you are. There's hope for the homeless and all those who stray. Come sit at the table, come taste the grace. There's rest for the weary. Rest that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face.
Thanks. Thank you so much.